Today we're gonna to look at the real number system. So a real number system is just a way to categorize numbers that we're all familiar with. So I've got this wacky looking chart here. We're gonna figure out where numbers go and what they all mean. So let's start inside this big box labeled rational all the way at the bottom. We're gonna talk about something called natural numbers. A natural number, Numbers you start counting with. I could ask you to start counting and you could say one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Those are natural numbers. They naturally roll off that tongue in that order. We never want to start with zero. That'd just be weird. So natural numbers, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to say dot, dot, dot. Those dot, 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 dot means these things just keep going on and on and on forever. Whole numbers. Now, if you're a type of person that would just say, no, I don't count by the number one. I don't start there. I start with zero. It's weird. Weird starts with a W. Whole starts with a W. We've got a whole list of new numbers now. The whole number starts with zero. And then it also is one, two, three, four. It includes all of these natural numbers that we just had below it. So think of it as if, We've got a box within a bigger box, and we're gonna keep categorizing them with bigger boxes. So I, if I ask, what type of number, what, what category does the number four belong into? You could easily say, oh, it's a natural number. You could also say four is also a whole number, okay? What if I ask, can you categorize zero? Well, it's not in my natural list. It's only a whole number. Whole is the only thing we can say so far. Okay, let's move on. Integers. Now an integer runs with this same pattern. We know that whatever's inside below it is also gonna be up here. So I'm gonna say zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, but we need to add to this group. We need more numbers. So what are those numbers that we add to? Now it's going to be negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. It keeps going and going and going. Integers, positive, negative, and that number zero. So I could ask, can you categorize four again for me? You were gonna say natural, whole, and integer. If I were to ask about zero, whole, integer, okay? What about this big box rational? Well, rational includes everything we have before it. So let's rewrite everything. I'm gonna say zero, one, two. I'm just gonna leave it there. Negative one, negative two, and go that way. Now, we need to add some more numbers here. Well, what are the numbers that we can add into rational? Here's where we add fractions and decimals, okay? I'm gonna explain a little more in a second. So, a fraction, one half. That's a rational number, okay? One half also has a decimal value. That decimal value, 0. 0.5. If you can rewrite the number, the decimal, as a fraction, it belongs in this category rational. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's put another fraction in there. One third, okay? It's harmless. What's that value as a decimal? 0.33333333333. That goes on and on and on forever. This is something called a repeating decimal. Repeating, um, we keep changing that same number over and over again. So rather than rewriting all that, I'm just gonna write 0.3 with a little repeating line over it. What goes in the rationals? Fractions, decimals that stop. That 0.5 doesn't go further, we call that terminating. We have decimals that repeat forever, that go on and on and on, repeating um, rational numbers. You could also put in, let's just say, square root of 16. Well, square root, can I simplify that? I can. The square root of 16 really means 
the number four. So, if I ask what categories does the number four fall into, you're going to say natural, whole, integer, and that's also four. It's now rational. Let's jump over to this other box. Irrational. So, think of rational as someone that acts sane. Someone that acts predictable. We know what's going to happen. We're in a safe, comfortable place. If someone's acting irrationally, they're going to be throwing their arms all over the way, all over the place. They're going to be yelling all over the place. They're going to be, you never know what you're going to get from one moment to the next. That's what happens to the numbers that fall into this category. One of the most famous numbers that you're going to find in that category, pi. Why do I say that pi is an irrational number? Well, there's something special with it. It never repeats. It, ne it goes on and on forever. And I can't find it on the calculator. That value, 3.141592654, dot, dot, dot. That thing goes on and on and on. It's never going to repeat. And what I mean is, if you were to take, a, take your picture of this, if I take a snapshot of this group of numbers, if I move it somewhere down the line, I'm never going to find that same sequence. There's an ugly pattern here. It's never going to repeat. It's never going to stop. It's called a non-terminating. That's an irrational number. I can also throw in something like square root of 5. Why 5? Well, five, square root of 5 is not a perfect square root. If I were to find the decimal value of this, 2.236067, oh, something, something, something. Who cares? That thing goes on and on forever. Well, why is it that radical 5 is irrational, The radical 16 or square root of 16 is rational? Well, square root of 16 is something called a perfect square. There's a number times itself to get us to that. 5 doesn't have that. When we find that decimal, it's crazy, irrational. Now, one last category, real. What does that mean? Well, every number we've dealt with up to this point has been a number that we've been able to play with. We've, we know what it's like to have $4. We know what it's like to have $0. I'm sure we know what it's like to be in debt to a friend for $2. And... What about going to the store when you got to get something and it costs 50 cents or half a dollar? We know that. We've seen these numbers. And irrational, we may not see them as often, but we do see these numbers eventually. Since we can see them, since we can touch them, since we can experience them, every one of these numbers is called a real number. So if I go, let's go back to the beginning. If I said, can you name all the categories? Of four. Well, it's a natural number. It's a whole number. It's an integer. It's a rational. It's also real. Does four fall into this irrational category? No. If I were to ask what category does one half fall into, it's not down here, but one half is rational. It is also real. What categories does the number pi fall into? Irrational and real. That's categorizing numbers using the real number system.